This was the cover for my first full-length JLA story that I did, not counting Kingdom Come, um, called JLA Liberty and Justice, and it was in the series of tabloid books that I did with Paul Dini, where it we went through four different single heroes, then we did uh, a book completely dedicated to secret origins of DC's main characters, but I had built up this yearning for wanting to do the classic Justice League, whether it's in tribute to growing up with the Super Friends cartoon show or just simply loving the Justice League comics that were my favorite from when I was a kid for both artists Dick Dillon and George Perez. I wanted to give tribute to that influence in my life and so we did this complicated adventure and this story is kind of um, fitting the aesthetic of what came before where there's largely one face on each cover image which is why you're seeing so large of a headshot of the Flash, figuring he'd be the closest to us. If you're getting one shot of everybody in action, he'd be getting right to us quickly. Um, so that's meant to kind of correspond to the previous four books. But um, it's one of those things that's also kind of an expression of the Neil Adams influence that's in a lot of my art style, where there's a physical kind of uh, expression within the body's making uh, over-exaggerated kind of expressions of overextension of limbs and whatever, but I like to try and take that inspiration through a physicality of posing those figures, getting every model to sort of match this kind of impressive physicality that's capturing a physical moment that's only captured in, you know, in a snapshot. 